What's up everybody, it's Jace for Vasa Productions. In this video, I wanna show you how to take your logo, take it apart, and then animate it back together in DaVinci Resolve Fusion, coming up. All right, so here we are inside of DaVinci Resolve in the Edit tab. The first thing that we need to do to start this project out is grab a Fusion composition and drag that into the timeline right here. And by default, the Fusion Composition is five seconds long. We're gonna extend that a little bit for this particular project. So we're gonna go out to seven seconds. Then what we're gonna do is go down to the Fusion tab, left click on that. All right, so we're over in the Fusion page. Let's take the media out here, bring it over to the right, create some space, bring a background in, drag that down to the workspace by left clicking and dragging here, let go. Take the output of the background, bring it into the media out right here, and you can see by default we have a black background. We're gonna change that because we're gonna use a logo that won't show up on a black background. Left click on color, change it to white, use whatever color is appropriate for your logo to show your logo. The next thing that I wanna do is create another background. I'm gonna left click and drag a background in right here. Take the output of that background and connect it to this background, which creates a merge. Now I'm gonna take this background right here, left click on it and take the alpha and bring the alpha down to zero. So it's transparent, it basically just doesn't exist. The next thing that I wanna do is take our logo, which is the AMD logo, drag that into the workspace, left click on its output and drag it into the current background that we have and there we see the AMD logo. The next thing I wanna do is take the merge and bring it over here by just dragging it over and this is the AMD logo. Now right click on that AMD logo and let's name it and we'll just call it AMD logo, right? Simple. The next thing that I wanna do is left click on the AMD logo, select a transform by left clicking on that, add that into the chain and I'll show you why in a little bit. I wanna come over to the merge, left click on the merge and then we wanna add a mask, okay? So we've got a rectangle mask and what we're gonna do with the rectangle mask is bring it over to the A on the AMD logo and just drag that right here and bring it over and isolate the A from the AMD logo. And you'll understand why in just a little bit. I'm also gonna soften the edge of that logo by left clicking and dragging here on soft edge. I don't wanna do it too much because it'll reveal the other letters. So just a little bit of a soft edge on that. So now that we have the A isolated in the AMD logo, we're gonna make three more copies of the logo. So let's just take these, Command C, Command V, so we copied the logo again, take the transform, go into the merge, it'll create another merge, drag that over, go Command C on rectangle here, the first one, the first mask, and then just pipe that into the merge, create a little space there. And now what we have is another rectangle mask, and this one is highlighting the M. All right, so we're just gonna drag that over, and we're isolating the M of the AMD logo. Wow, let's make some more space in our composition. So let's take these, highlight, left click and drag, bring it up to create some more room for more nodes. And then come here, Command C, Command V again, bring these over, take the transform, pipe it into the merge. It creates another merge right here. Command C on this rectangle, Command V, into the merge, and then take this again, this rectangle, and just slide it over to the D in the AMD logo, and bring this one in a little bit, it's a little bit too wide for that letter. And then let's do this again, Command C, Command V, bring it over, take the transform, pipe it into the merge, that creates another merge. And then we wanna take this rectangle here, highlight it, Command C, Command V, bring that into the merge, We've created another mask there. Let's bring this one over to the right as well. You can see this one's a little too small for that final part of the logo, so let's stretch it out a little bit here. Let's extend it up a little bit as well, just like that. So now we've isolated the entire logo. We've made four copies and we've masked over each letter, or each symbol within the logo. So now we're gonna start to animate this. All right, so we need to animate the A first. So at the 30th frame, we're selecting our transform for that one, left clicking on the keyframe, and then we're gonna go back to frame six, and we're gonna take this, and we're gonna animate this one from the right. So it's gonna come from there. It's gonna pop out from where the M would be, and then we're gonna left click on settings for that, left click on motion blur, left click on spline, and then left click on transform. We're gonna go zoom to fit, left click on that, here are the keyframes for that move. Left click and drag to highlight, hit S to smooth, 
and then option and left click and drag that keyframe over to smooth that out. See what that looks like? It looks good, that A pops right out. Love the look of that. All right, so the next letter that we wanna do is the M, right? That's the second one. We want that to come on by frame 54. So one second after the A, let's left click on the position here, the keyframe. Let's go to frame 30 now. And then let's left click and drag the Y position down. We're gonna have this one animate from below. Left click on settings, make sure motion blur here is checked. And then go to spline, select transform, left click and then left click and drag to select the keyframes, hit S to smooth, left click and hold option to drag this out, and then that one should be nice and smooth as well, and animate in, okay? The next one that we wanna do is gonna be the third letter, which is D. So we're gonna go frame 54 was the last one, we're gonna go 24 frames ahead again. So by frame 78, the D is gonna animate on, so let's just left click and select this keyframe. Let's come back to frame 54. This one's gonna come from above, so left click and hold the Y position until it goes up out of the screen like this, drag it up, left click on settings, left click on motion blur, select spline, left click zoom to fit, left click and drag the keyframes here, hit S to smooth again, and then hit option to drag this one out, and so far this is what we have. All right, so we just have one more left to do, and that's gonna be the last part of the AMD logo right here. We're gonna have that one come out of the D, okay? So from frame 78, 24 frames forward is gonna be 102. Left click that keyframe, come back to 78. Take this and just change the X position. So left click and drag to your left, so it comes out of the D area there. Left click on settings, motion blur, left click on spline, Left click and drag this again, smooth it out. Pretty quick, pretty simple animation. We've taken four copies of the original logo and then we've animated those using masks. But we're not quite done yet. We wanna animate this entire logo off the screen. Come up to the transform, left click and drag this down until this turns blue and green. Then just let go of that left click. And now you've got a transform down here and that transform is gonna allow you to move the entire logo wherever you want. If I wanna move that here, I can move the entire thing as one again. So double left click on center to center it. Now let's go to the end here. We've got frame 168. So let's go to frame 144. Subtract another six frames off there. That's gonna take us to 138. I'm gonna left click right here on that keyframe. We're gonna go 24 frames ahead, which is 162. Then I'm gonna take the entire logo and it's just gonna dip right down here off the screen. Okay, and if I wanna add a little extra to that, I can also involve a mask in that, but let's look, left click on motion blur first, hit spline, left click here, and then left click right here, S to smooth, option again, drag it over, just like that. So currently the animation looks like this. and then it zips off the screen. What I'd like to do is add one more mask. So let's just go down here to merge, left click on the rectangle mask. Let's add that and let's go right here and stretch that one out a little bit, right here. And then let's soft edge, increase that a little bit like this. And let's see what that looks like with the mask now. There we go. All right, so there you have it, a quick and easy way to take a logo take it apart, animate it back together, and make it look smooth and professional. If you found this video helpful and you learned something today, smash that like and subscribe button. I'm Jason Pravasa Productions. We'll see you next time.